and click on your username and scroll all the way down and click generate password. I'm going to hide my password here and type in your password then press update profile. So the next thing that we're going to do is delete plugins and what plugins are is it adds functionality to your website and that's one of the things that makes WordPress great. Let's say that you want a contact form. Well by default WordPress doesn't come with a contact form so you download a plugin that someone built and now you have a contact form or a photo gallery or an image slider. So plugins add features to your website that people build and it's really, really cool. But what hosting companies do is they install all of these extra plugins on your website because, well, they get paid to. And of course, they're in the business of you know providing a service but also making money. And that's all right, but we don't want the plugins on our website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click plugins and we're gonna check this box on top. And from the drop down, we're gonna press deactivate and apply and now deactivate activate all of the plugins but we still need to delete them so we're going to check the box again and press delete and apply and press ok and that will delete all of the plugins on your website so that you can start off fresh the next thing that we're going to do is update our permalinks and let me show you what that is so if we hover up right here and click visit site we go back to our site and we see this bar up here and that shows us that we're logged in so our users aren't going to see that we just see that but anyways if we scroll down and click on the hello world we can see up here it's our website.com forward slash index.php forward slash the date then hello world but that's not really professional you don't go to Google's website and click their about page and see google.com forward slash index.php forward slash about. All you see is google.com forward slash about. It's simple, it's easy, and it's professional. So how do we get rid of that index.php and that is where permalinks come into play. So to change the permalinks, all we have to do is hover over our website name and click dashboard. Then click settings and go to permalinks. Then I just like to click on post name. You can obviously change yours and make yours different, but I think post name is perfect. Then I click save changes. All right, now we can hover over our website name and visit our site again and click on hello world again. And now we can see it's just our website.com forward slash hello world. It is much simpler, much plainer, much cleaner, and much more professional. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is see if WordPress needs any updates. We want to update our website before we do anything because sometimes updates can cause some changes to our website. So we want to do it before and not after we've completed our website. So what you do is hover over your website name and click on dashboard and click on updates. Now we don't have any updates right now, but if we did, all we would do is click on update and it would update WordPress for you. The next thing that we're going to do is install your theme. A theme is the design of your website, what your website looks like. And that's one of the reasons why I love WordPress so much because thousands and thousands of people make themes for WordPress so you have thousands of designs to choose from. So we can see what our theme looks like by just visiting our website. So if we visit our website, this is what it looks like. It has this big image up here. And if we scroll down, we can see this is just what our website looks like. So how do we change that? How do we make it look much, much better? To do that, just go back into your dashboard and go to appearance, then themes. Now we see we have these three themes, but how do we add more? And that's really easy. We just click on add new. Once we do that, we can scroll through all of the themes and look at them. Or we can go to popular and look at the popular themes. They have many beautiful themes, but I do have a favorite theme. And this is the theme that you should install because this tutorial is based on this theme. So if you install a different theme, then you can't follow all the steps. They'll be different. So the theme that I love is Ocean WP. And again, this is my favorite theme. And we can go to details and preview, and we can see that it has five stars. It was rated 164 times, and that's all great. So we can exit out of there, and we can click install. So now the theme is installing, and once it does that, we can click on activate. 
and now our theme is activated on our website. Now up top right here it says this theme recommends the following plugin Elementor and Ocean Extra. So we're going to click begin installing plugins. And again plugins add features to your website. So it's extra things that the theme needs in order to work properly. Alright for now we're just going to install Ocean Extra and we'll install Elementor later. So just click on install and it will install. Then we can click visit site and we can see that the theme or the design has changed. So it doesn't look that great right now, but it is the building block to a really beautiful website. So the next thing that we're going to do is delete some pages and posts that WordPress installs automatically. We just want to start off clean and blank and fresh. So to do that, let's go back into your dashboard by hovering over your name and clicking dashboard. Then click pages and we'll see this sample page and we can view it to see what it looks like. Yep, just looks like a regular sample page. We can go back and we can click on trash. All right, once we've clicked on trash, it goes into the trash can and we can delete permanently. All right, so that's how you delete pages. Now we're gonna delete our posts. So just go to posts and hover over hello world and click on trash and we can go to trash and we can delete permanently. The difference between pages and post, pages are website pages like about, services, contact, products, or store, and posts are blog posts. So if you want to create a blog, you would click on post and create your blog post there. All right, so we're done deleting our pages and posts, and that was really easy. The next thing that we're gonna learn how to do is change our title and tagline. So to do that, we can hover over our website name and click visit site, and we can see our title up here, create a website, and our tagline, just another WordPress website. Well, ours isn't just another WordPress website, ours is something great and amazing, so we definitely wanna change that. To do that, click on customize up here, and then click site identity, and we can see our site title. I'll just change it real quick to show you that it changes, and this is where you should put your business name, and your tagline describes what you do, or gives you more information about what it is. So I'm just gonna put step-by-step -step with no steps skipped. But if you did something like graphic design, then you would put what you do. So you could say you do drawings, illustrations, and websites. So it really describes what you do in the tagline. All right, once you're done with that, you can click on publish and exit out of there. And we can see our title up here in our tagline right down here. But it's not always going to look like that. That is kind of ugly. I don't really like that. So we're going to remove that and make our website look much better a little bit later. But all right, that is how you add your title and tagline. But now our website is blank. So the next thing that we're going to do is add pages to our website. To do that, hover over your title name and go to dashboard and click pages. Then click add new and you can enter in your page name. We of course need a home page, so I'm just gonna put in home and we're gonna leave it blank for now. So we're just gonna click on publish. All right, once we do that, we can add another page. So we're just gonna press add new and we're gonna name this one about and we're gonna click on publish. Then again, click on add new and we're gonna add services and click on publish. Then we're gonna click on 